Over the past two weeks, Montez Sweat has 10 total pressures, three quarterback hits, multiple run stops, and generally speaking, he's been pretty solid for the Chicago Bears. And today we're going to analyze this tape from last night's game against the Carolina Panthers because Montez Sweat had a lot of really, really good plays, in my opinion. And I'm excited for this one. You know, Montez Sweat was a guy I wanted to break down this past week after watching the first game against the Saints. Do keep in mind, at the end of the video, we will look at about three or four snaps from that Saints game in which he did have an impact. I'm very fired up for this one. There's a ton of plays where this guy got to the quarterback. On this one, he does a good job pushing number 82, the tight end, off of him. The tight end was ultimately going to release, but he still does a good job getting off the block, creating the separation, not getting pushed down. And he is able to get after the quarterback, and this pass right here does fall incomplete. That's part of because of Montez Sweat getting after the quarterback and forcing the incomplete pass to actually happen. With that being stated, very, very fired up to get into the Sweat tape. Let's get right into it. So one of the things we've known with Montez Sweat is he's a very high effort player. Uh, here's a good example of him kind of showing that effort off a little bit. Uh, he's going to get after the quarterback after he gets double teamed. And to me, this is a really, really nice rep by Sweat. Uh, now, they are running a defensive line game. 93 is going to attack the inside shoulder of the right tackle. Sweat's going to come back to the inside. But Sweat does get double teamed by the right guard as well as the center. And honestly, had the center slid over here to the left, Montez Sweat may have gotten a free shot at the quarterback. So 93 does a pretty good job taking on the two guys or at least trying to pull the two guys in. And of course, Sweat does a really good job coming around on the defensive line game. Now, do keep in mind, the center basically picks up Sweat. The right guard here doesn't do a good enough job picking up Sweat. Let me just back this up here. You can really see how Jones is going to ultimately sell this one and Sweat comes around. Uh, but I do like the effort, right? Being double teamed here, he does still get off the block. And he does still generate a little bit of pressure. And the quarterback does have to take off running, so... Love the effort. Let's get into the next snap. All right, you guys, check this next play out. Montez Sweat's going to do a really nice job controlling the tight end, getting off the block, and getting to the quarterback. Beautiful job recognizing the play, right? And this pass does fall incomplete. And the reason why, in my opinion, that it falls incomplete is because of the hit here by Montez Sweat to the quarterback. I love this play, man. This is exactly the type of player Montez Sweat is. You know, he's one of those guys that as he gets out of his stance, he's going to first and foremost play the run. He's going to get the head turned towards the inside. He's going to make sure that he has this run fit. And as soon as he recognizes the quarterback has the ball, because of his ability to play the run, he creates that separation as he does right here. And he's going to get off the block, recognize the quarterback has the ball. And he does a really nice job getting to the outside, making sure the quarterback has to stop himself, pressures the quarterback. Also gets a nice hit on the quarterback. And of course, the ball does fall over the top of the receiver, who was wide open on this one. This is a great job right there by Montez Sweat, making his impact be felt. Check this play out. You got a bull rush by Montez Sweat. Third and seven right here. And because of the pressure that Sweat's going to force, the quarterback has to take a couple steps to the right. And he's going to throw the ball, and the ball's going to actually go out of bounds. So to me, this is already a really, really nice job. Once again, by Sweat. Great job with the bull rush. You can really see that this guy has the bull rush technique down. Uh, to me, sometimes guys make mistakes with the hand placement. They make mistakes in terms of leverage. And Sweat does a really, really nice job with the right hand. Gets it right into this offensive lineman. And that right there is a really nice bull rush. Now, of course, Sweat does have to continue to work and continue to develop the other hand-to-hand -hand pass rush techniques, which I think he will continue to improve over the course of his career, but he definitely knows how to win. And you can see it right here. He uses elite power to basically take this right tackle right into the quarterback, and the quarterback has to step over to the right of the screen here. And he ultimately just throws the ball away because, because the pocket is really collapsing down on the quarterback. So it's a good job by Sweat. Let's get into the next snap. Check this one out. Montez Sweat is going to hezzy, and he's going to attack the outside shoulder of this tackle, and he almost gets to the quarterback. He doesn't technically get there. Do keep in mind, this was third and nine, and the quarterback is going to rush the throw a little bit, in my opinion. I think part of that is because both Yannick and Gakwe and Sweat were kind of collapsing the pocket around him, and you see the quarterback here just basically check the ball down to the underneath wide receiver. But look at how close Sweat was. You can see that he basically gets the hand on the quarterback within half a second after he throws the ball. To me, these type of things will translate over time. I think one of the things the Bears have to do is they got to get a little bit more consistent in their pass rush. You know, I really like Yannick Ngakwe. I think he's one of those unique football players in the NFL because he's really fine-tuned the cross chop. But 
I think you can definitely upgrade the pass rush still if you're the Chicago Bears. Maybe you get a little bit more interior pass rush. And I think as you continue to add that, these type of plays right here will translate into more quarterback hits and more sacks. So you can see right there, Sweat does do a pretty good job. Now, as I mentioned, on this one, he is going to hezzy to the inside. He's going to attack the outside. There's the jab and the, the fake hezzy to the right right there. Uh, and with that, he does get the outside leverage, but he doesn't initially win. The tackle does do a pretty good job making up the ground. And the tackle is going to get his hands into Montez Sweat, but Sweat's going to chop it away right there. And he's going to remove the leverage and he's going to get past the right tackle. So it's a pretty good job. Does get the hand on the quarterback. It is an incomplete pass. Let's get into the next snap. Check this one out. Montez Sweat's going to get a free release on the quarterback, and he's going to crush Price Young on this. And I mean, to me, that is nasty right there. I'm not exactly 100% sure what the offensive line does on this one. They are going to slide over to the right of the screen, which is kind of interesting because you have the left tackle who's going to take Nkakwe. And I would expect the left guard to take the D tackle here, but you'll see that you're going to get a double on the D tackle there. The guard's going to basically end up in a one on one here. And you'll see 53 is going to end up blitzing. And the tackle here, as he gets vertical, is going to let Montez Sweat go. So I'm not 100% sure how the pass pro works in this scenario here. Um, to me, it's a bad job by the offense line, but that gives Montez Sweat a free hit at the quarterback and he takes his opportunity. So a uh, really nice job being able to actually get there. Let's get into the next snap. Check this play out. You're going to get a six yard sack on this one. And it's not Montez Sweat, but to me, Sweat's once again, right there. And this is part of what Sweat is going to continue to bring to a Chicago Bears defensive line. And he's obviously already locked in his contract. I think that contract is a very, very team-friendly contract. And you'll especially see in about two years from today, when guys like Miles Garrett start signing these contracts for $35 plus million a year. This is part of what a Montez Sweat's going to bring. You can see on this one, he's going to do a pretty good job getting the hands, creating the separation. And he's going to hit the inside here. And although it is Jones that's going to get there first, Sweat is right there. All right? To me, Sweat is still causing that destruction. And had Jones not got the sack, half a second later, it would have been Montez Sweat. That would have grabbed onto Bryce Young and ultimately brought him down. So although Sweat has not gotten the sack in any of the first two games, he's been disruptive. And there's definitely plays on tape. There's a couple against the Saints as well. And we'll get into those a little bit later on. But let's go ahead and get into the next snap. Got a really nice run play here by Montez Sweat. He's going to blow this one up. He's going to absolutely explode out of his stance. And he's going to end up bringing the running back down. This one we picked up about one yard, but this is the type of stuff that I really like to see. You know, if Montez Sweat plays like this where he's going to get upfield and you're trying to make contact with him, especially on a run, you're not going to be able to stop this guy. He's too powerful. He'll rip right past those arms. If you're going to block this guy, you got to get a body into him. He's too big. He's too strong. He's too lengthy. And this one is a good job with the right hand to break the contact right there. The tight end here has no shot to ultimately block Sweat. and He's going to get past him. He's going to wrap the running back up here, and he's going to bring him down. That's a nice job. Let's get into the next snap. Check this next rep out. Once again, Montez Sweat is going to beat the right tackle. He's going to generate a little bit of pressure to the quarterback. Uh, the quarterback does throw the ball away, but once again, it is an incomplete pass. Again, this is what Montez Sweat brings. You're going to see him go up against the right tackle. The right tackle does jump set it, which is kind of interesting if you guys ask me. But it is a play action, so I guess that does make sense. But within that, if you're going to jump set it, one of the ways you can lose is to the outside. And you'll see Montez Sweat's going to break the contact by the right tackle. He's going to hit the outside. Bryce Young has to step up because of it. He's going to throw the ball, and the ball does fall incomplete. This is a nice shot by Sweat to understand the different things that a offensive tackle may do to you. In this instance, the tackle jump sets. And Sweat understands what he has to do within the play. Right? It's not as simple as just pass rushing on every single snap. You got to make sure you're playing your run fit. You got to make sure you're stopping yourselves, creating the separation in case you need to get off the block. And then you have to turn that into an actual pass rush. And you see on this one, Sweat does, and he gets pretty close to the quarterback. Of course, the ball does fall incomplete. Let's get into the next snap. You got another one here. Montez Sweat is once again going to collapse the pocket, once again generate pressure. And this time the quarterback's actually going to roll out of the pocket. And again, this is just kind of what this guy does, right? So it's a nice job once again by Sweat. To keep in mind, the pass here was obviously incomplete. But I love the effort once again by Sweat, right? Really collapsing the pocket, really getting past this right tackle and making the quarterback just kind of feel uncomfortable. 
Quarterback rolls out of there. Sweat chases it, gets his hands to the quarterback. Pretty nice job. Let's get into the next snap. Check the play out. The guard here is going to pull out towards the left of the screen. Sweat's going to take this guy on, and he's going to stop his ass in his tracks. One of the things Montez Sweat really excels at is being able to take on the blocks, and this is a great example of that. I mean, look at this play. It does not get better than this right here. The tight end's not really blocking Sweat here, so Sweat kind of just gets around the block cleanly. The guard's going to make contact with Sweat, and look at the leverage here. To me, that's really, really nice. You see Sweat really get underneath the guard, and he stops this guard in his tracks. You know, sometimes when you get these top-tier guards, you know, Tyler Smith or Zach Martin, Chris Lindstrom, or some of these other physical guys, you know, when they make contact here, they oftentimes push these guys backwards. And in this instance, that does not happen. So it's a really nice job by Sweat to stop this guard in his tracks. And one of the important concepts within this is Montez Sweat is effectively setting the edge, right? When Montez Sweat gets into this guy, he's setting the edge. He's making sure nothing's going to now go over to the outside here. But he's also making sure that no further lane is going to ultimately develop. At this point right here will be the end point of how wide a gap could possibly develop into, right? So to me, that's a nice job by Sweat to shut down this guard right here. The plane only picked up about a yard. Pretty nice job. Let's get into the next snap. Now, what we saw from Montez Sweat against the Panthers last night was pretty much what he did against the New Orleans Saints. Uh, you see plays like this where he gets into a tackle, he pushes them back, he collapses the pocket. And to me, this is stuff that you want out of your defense, man. This is the type of stuff you want him to do. You want him to be physical. You want him to be able to take these guys on. And you want him to be able to overpower these guys the way he does here. Now, he doesn't get a hit on the quarterback, although he does get close. But then there's other plays like this one here where he actually does get to the quarterback. Now, this was third and eight. He's going to overpower the right tackle. And on this one, he's going to basically break the pass up. Now, technically, this counted as an incomplete pass. But this was so close to being a sack fumble for the defense, right? You can see him basically hit the, the arm of the quarterback. The ball basically comes out. Obviously, within this one, the quarterback's arm was coming forward. But again, these are the type of plays where had he hit the arm just a little bit sooner or, or in a different angle, possibly, this may have been a fumble, right? So these are the type of things that Montez Sweat has done so far for the Bears. And these are the type of things I will continue to see on tape from this guy because this is a part of his game. To wrap the video up, of course, Montez Sweat is powerful. He's strong. He's physical, has an elite bull rush, as you'll see on this play once again. And this is what you should expect out of Montez Sweat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time with another video.